So I talked about the Teddy Towns competition going ahead this year. It's going to be different. Um, again, people are saying, many people are pointing the finger at me saying, it was you who started this. Um, because last year, me remember, Minister Wing, Michael Wing was Minister for Rural, Rural Development. I had a Humphreys is now Minister for Rural Development. Um, I was basically 90s head to try and get a going ahead last year at Tidy Towns because it is 60 years on the go and I thought it'd be a shame. You know, in Tidy Towns, we should have kept the going. I think it would have worked out fortunately. Um, and they can, I think they have kind of taken my idea because he didn't even, he did reply back to me. I did send my ideas onto the department in an email and in a letter too um, to Calvin County Council. I said my ideas, I said what they could be done. Um, and it does appear that they have actually listened to what I had to say because at the time I was the new one saying, you know, we should do an online format um, for Tidy Towns entries. And I said about that, and I was the first person to say about it. Many county councillors actually probably took wind of what I said. Um, because it was actually, you know, because nobody else thought of it. Nobody, I have, I heard nobody else talk about it. Nobody else, they were just like, we're going to cancel it. That's the end of it. Nothing. We're not going to take it outside the box or anything like that. Um, but it's good to see, because again, I think it, maybe I contributed to it. Um, because again, I think I've now you'd had a hot voice constantly about it. Um, every time I got talking to her, any time I was talking to her at all, um, I was like, what's going to be done about the Tidy Times this year? Um, like literally, if you ask it, that that's the main thing I've literally been annoying her about. <laughs> like literally, any nothing else, but just annoying her about that. Um, and obviously I've been pushing county councillors, you know, to if it didn't happen in Cavan, even if it didn't happen in Ireland, to have a smaller one in Cavan, um, judged by Cavan county councillors. So I was arranging too if the national tidy towns were going to go ahead, the tidy towns in Cavan would go ahead, and the tidy towns groups in Cavan would be judged and there'd be a winner, there'd be an overall winner in Cavan. Um, and the prize from Calvin County Council. That's what I was thinking about, and I even said to some County Councillors that um, it would be an idea if it doesn't go ahead, because it'd be a shame to see it go two years, and especially because it's going 60 years, and it's a huge part of Irish culture, um, and it's a huge, uh, it has a huge role to play in the society, the Irish society, as we know, 1,000 tiny towns groups, uh, which probably uh, 300,000 people maybe are in it, um, across them, 1,000 groups. Um, but again, it's going to be good to see. You have to upload the fortune and things so that the, the, it's open and everything like that. Again, I said it would be a good idea. And I, I think a lot of people do remember. I said that after Michael Wing and I was talking about it. Um, I even done a YouTube video and I like, talked about my ideas. Um, and another thing too that I just want to talk about is the same about giving young people more of awards and t things like that for the Tidy Towns one. But they're going to give younger people more um, stuff for being afar from the Tidy Towns. Um, now, I said this a few times again. I said this a few times in my letter when I wrote to the Department of uh, Rural Affairs um, over the time community development. Um, I said this a few times that young people should be given more credit because, again, it's a lot. Uh, in tiny towns groups, even myself, there's only three young people under 18. Um, I'm actually 18 now, but you know, before that, there was very few under 18. You know, they take us to dirty. It's not, it's not cuddly. It's not, you know, it's not about the kids. It's not down with the kids, you know, or the football clubs and things like that. They're down with the kids. Um, you know, it's too dirty walk. You don't want to be seen with your friends being seen. You doing the dirty walk. Um, again, I couldn't care less. But <laughs> I'll be totally honest with you, I couldn't care less what other people think. Um, if they think I'm a, you know, because again, I'm doing hard walk. I'm doing it's it's honest walk. To be honest, it'd be different if I'm selling drugs in the corner or something like that. Um, that'd be different walk. Um, but yeah, you know, that's just basically what I think. Young people are just afraid to join because they're afraid what other people think about them. Um, and you know, I say to young people, you know, to get involved with your local community, it's great to get to know many people. I know many people now from from tidy towns, and I know many people, and I've got to know many, many people. Um, I said that about six million times there. Um, but yeah, it's going to be remote. It's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But um, yeah, it's interesting. Again, as I said, but I actually was talking with the young people. Um, I did mention that you should give them something because it is a credit to young people. And again, I don't want to put myself in the pedestal or anything like that. But it's a credit to young people taking the time off their studies or whatever to go out even for an hour or two. It's a credit to them and you're not getting paid. It's a credit to them. And, it's, and I wouldn't mind older people. Older people generally have time with higher ways and things like that generally have time. But it's still good of them to give up the time. But again, younger people, you know, it's, you know, again, younger people have to get paid for the work. And I think they should get something. If a young person goes out even does an hour, um, a week, you know, we should get, they should get something, if it's a small voucher from the local authorities, then it's something, something just to give them a small thank you, even if, like, again, I got a trophy from, um, Calvin County Council for my work on Tidy Towns, even if it's a small gift voucher for the local cinema, um, a 50 euro voucher for him and a few friends, right, um, it's something, a small thank you for the community, a small thank you for the 
the people that the local authorities would be appreciated because again these are people saving time for the local authorities and the same the local authorities love work um so yeah and i did say that in my letter and i stressed that, that i stressed that much and hopefully they maybe they listen to me because again it's funny how to have it in this year um because i give them i give them probably too much ideas last year um but i say i actually contribute i do have a funny feeling i did contribute to just being a nuisance and just getting it up and going because I was just kind of constantly just annoying them um, to get it up and going and obviously I did give them the big idea last year and I say it was handed over to head of Hope Department when I said in my letter and everything that and obviously the same staff and things like that but anyway um, good to see they're happy to see it going ahead this year it's good it's good to see young people again the communities mixing you know communities getting together again and talking and you know walking together it's good to see that anyway take a fortune subscribe more and bye